Look at that, I can be on the outside. I can be double left. I can be double right. I can be double inside. Okay, so let's look at that again. Double outside, double inside, double left, double right. So again, legs outside, legs inside. I also have two other options. I can be straight engagement outside here like this. So chase, let's turn. So I can be straight engagement outside, straight engagement inside. I can also be cross engagement inside or cross engagement outside. Okay, so Chase, you're in my guard. Scoot back just a bit. Feet are on him. Feet are in front. We're gonna look at some upper body versus upper body controls. We're not focusing too much on the lower body control, although there's some variations, obviously. Okay, so we're gonna look at like 12 different upper body controls. Okay, let's go with the butterfly on this, okay? So this is a very common transition off the arm drag. Guys will start from butterfly guard, they'll go to the arm drag, they'll take this hook out, and they'll turn, and they'll hit this angle right here. So when I put my foot on the floor, I'm actually turning my hips to get this angle. Okay, all we're gonna do today is just tie up and put them onto his back. Everything we're doing, we're just putting the guy onto his back. So I'll get the arm drag from there, I'm gonna post, fall back, put him onto his back, come up to mount. I got a real easy finish right here. I got a cross face shoulder lock right here, okay? So I can step off, finish with that cross face shoulder lock. Okay? One more time. Chase is in my guard. I can go to a wrist control like this. I can fight the hand like this. I can fight the hand like this. I can grip it like this. Grip block from the inside, circle to the wrist. Any number of ways you're gonna to get to that wrist control. Whether it's inverted and straight, or whether it's on the hand, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the one that I like to do is I like to block on the inside, roll to the outside, and then I go to my cross hand tricep drag. Once I have that, I outside step, and I turn my hips 90 degrees. Okay, all we're doing today, we're getting our seat belt, bringing them back, we're going up on top. Whether he gives us his back, or he flattens himself out, doesn't matter. You get that feet, that's what we're working for. Okay, arm drag, with first control, take your hook out from butterfly. Okay, ready? Red fighter. Okay, I might have butterfly, I might have just a closed guard. Let's do, let's stick to the butterfly because we were using it, okay? So you might have a collar tie. This time we're gonna use the Russian tire, the two on one. Look, we're gonna bring this across, we're gonna get the Russian tire, we're gonna use our butterfly hook after we scoot our butt in to sweep him back onto his back. Okay, he's onto his back now. And there we're gonna go up to the top position. Any number of ways we can finish from the top now. But look, we're just gonna bring the arm across, come up to the top, and now you got a gift wrap. Okay. So many different directions we can go. All we're looking at is the upper body versus upper body tie up. That's the main part of this whole sequence. Okay? Cross grip, parry with the shoulder, rush and tie. Scoot your butt in, flare your butterfly hooks up, bring them onto his back. My right foot comes out, goes to the floor, right hand grabs the wrist, drive up to the top. Okay? Simple? Good, night fighter. Now we're gonna look at the great white grip. Let's switch side, Chase, okay? So all we're doing here, cross grip at the wrist. Bring this across, punch this through, figure four right here, okay? Cross grip at the wrist, punch this up and through and pin the back of the forearm of your chest. You got a lever there now. Trap that under the armpit, Cross grip, cross grip, flare him back. We're in the same situation we were in before. Okay, we can butterfly him over. Look, we can come up and we can actually finish. We're like a reverse chimera. There's lots of different finishes. Okay, the main thing we're doing is the sweep. It's the tie up. That's what we're looking at. 
Cross grip, under hook, butterfly sweep, up to the top. We got a slicer right there too. Okay. One more time. Here's the slicer, guys. See that? Okay, ready? Night of fire. So, we just swept the guy. Okay? His wrist is in my rib. We need to get it into the middle of our sternum and get his elbow up in this type of position. But we can't do that by, by letting go and moving his wrist. We've just swept and we have this. So what we do instead is we take our knee off and I'm gonna move my body here on top of his wrist. Now his wrist is right in the middle of my sternum. It's not across on my ribs anymore. It's not on a 45, it's vertical to my sternum. Okay, so here it's on a 45. And when I invert, I'll, I'll get it right vertical on my sternum. Now it's vertical on my sternum, okay? So now from there, I'm gonna bring my right bicep all the way up to my left hand, okay? I put both elbows towards the floor. From there, I start getting that slicer by dropping my chest down, but I have to take up all the slack. So right now we're here. When I invert, I'm gonna go all the way. So I'm driving this radial bone into his elbow by using my right bicep. That's gonna, this here action. So look, we're here. It's fairly loose, we get the sweep. This, boom, drives that all the way in. So now, this is tight in here, so when we, this won't close anymore. It'll, it'll give if we're not all the way, look at my wrist, will actually slide out of his elbow if we don't frame it in there, okay? So you actually have to wedge that. So look, we're here, this is tight, I invert, I get the middle of the sternum, I drive my elbow up, and now we have the slicer. Okay, you have to fill that space on the inside of his elbow, and then put your elbow onto the floor. Now it sticks to the floor, it doesn't move. Forearms vertical up the chest. Now you got a slicer. Not a high percentage move, but it's there. <laughs> and you'll be surprised that you catch people with it. Especially when they're used to the same shit all the time. Like if, if you're rolling with black belts and you're doing weird shit to Like that happens a lot. So, all right, next fire. We'll do this one from Closed guard, okay? Chase is in my closed guard here. You guys have seen most of these. All, all it is is upper body controls, okay? So look, I'm gonna pass the straight control to the cross control, bring my legs in, and I'm gonna get my gift wrap. I'm gonna use a thigh sweep and a scissor movement. We get the sweep, we come up, Bring my knee in nice and close. We can reach under here, grab our own forearm, and now that's all, it's almost more of a slicer in the bicep than it is an attack on his artery, but it's both. My right radial bone is attacking his bicep again, and then the blade of my hand is attacking his artery, okay? It's a little bit of both. But all we're doing is we're using our gift wrap to establish whatever sweep we want because my leg position's independent of my upper body position. Straight wrist control, pass it across to cross wrist control. Use your legs to bring them in, pass the wrist. I could do a scissor sweep, I could do a butterfly sweep, I could do whatever sweep. Let's do a thigh sweep here. Super simple, okay? Bring them up into modified mount, put your hand through, and there we go, okay? Thank you, Chase. Ready? Nine fire. I'm gonna break his posture down by breaking his hands down first, pull his head down. I push it up under the armpit. We're gonna underhook, connect the hands. I always like to open my guard and escape my hips because I'm not worried about a guy passing my guard when I have this type of control. Even if he did, this type of control, I should still be able to sweep him. But what I'm doing is I'm keeping my right knee high enough that it's hard for him to jump over that right leg when I do go to sweep. 
So I open this. They get, see how my right leg is on the floor? That's what I'm pushing off. He could theoretically hop over that. But I still have this control. Okay, so we're gonna sit up. We're gonna get 100% sweep. That's 100% control. That's what we're, we're, what we're using. Okay, I'm gonna put my head on the floor. I'm gonna grab this left tricep, his right tricep. We're gonna sit through carefully. I'm gonna sit my hip to the floor. And there's my side neck lock. Okay. One more time. 100% sweep, side neck lock. Guards closed. Hips are up. Break the control. Hips go down, knees come in. I drive his head under the armpit. I underhook. Palm is away. We gave a grip. Open the guard. Right foot goes to the floor. Escape my hip to the right. This arm could be a problem, guys, but it's easy enough to deal with with my left elbow. And also, if he posts, he can break his arm with this. He does not want that arm there, so he's gonna bring that in for you. Okay, so we're gonna get the sweep out of the deal. All the way through. Put your head on the floor. Come across to the other side. Control that elbow, sit your hip to the floor, and then get your side neck clock, okay? Ready? Night fighter. What we're doing, guys, underhook and across face. Guards closed. I'm digging my right arm underneath, and I'm getting my underhook. From there, I get my cross face. We have a lever here, and this is trapping this in, okay? Super simple. I open my guard. I bridge to this side. We can come up. I put my butterfly hook. I windshield wiper up. Now look, we have a straight elbow lock right there. Okay, straight elbow lock. Underhook and cross face. He's in my guard. Pummel under. Get that in nice and tight. Get your cross face. Look at my two wrist bones, my radial bone, my ulna are right against his shoulder. Tighten that up. Raise the elbow up super high. Escape. Keep my head on the floor and bridge. I sweep, I come up to the top. Right foot butterflies up, my left knee goes over his far arm. Trap this in against my shoulder and my neck. There's my straight elbow lock. Okay, ready? Ready, fire.